Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Icarus. I am Zystars, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to deploy an electric textiles bench. I've never used one of these before. Uh, well, that's not true. I haven't used one of these in this playthrough. But I need a spot for it. And this room's not as big as I thought it was. Let's see. This These stairs kind of get in the way. Will it fit? Yeah, maybe I need to put it over with the other textiles benches. And other the other whatnot. This is a good spot for it. Do I have electricity over here? What's this thing take? That's a lot. Let's see. That was the advanced textiles bench. The alteration bench. The advanced alteration bench. I actually don't have power running up here. Oh, here we are. We'll just grab off of you. Whoops. Damn it. That is not... Hold on. Okay. So if we grab off of you, I think that means we're low on power. So let's disconnect this right now. And that will give us that. Excellent. Okay, so the electric textiles bench is up. We're going to need some more power, I think. I think. Which means we're going to need some more gold. I think we're going to need... Where are we at with gold? We actually have... We have 40 in there. We have a few copper. And we have a bit in the ore box. Not copper. We'll definitely need to go get some of that. But we do have some gold in the ore box. And I think we've got a little bit smelting over here. So we'll get some ore there. I'd like to get this going and get that smelting, but... We don't really have the power right now. What all do we have running? Let's see, we've got... Oh, the chemistry bench. We can disable... No, that's not running. Okay, really all we have is the textiles bench, the furnace... And then all the lights and stuff. So, because these two items are on their own circuit. So we don't need to worry about that. Okay, well, for now, we're not going to have power. Which, actually... Oh, and then we've got the... This thing. That's where the rest of the power is going. I knew there was something else that was that was pulling power. Okay, so let's take a look at what it takes to build... The obsidian armor. Heavy obsidian and obsidian. It's the difference. Heavy obsidian leg armor. Heavy obsidian chest armor. Fire resistance while in lava. Exposure resistance, volcanic exposure resistance. Okay, so this one is definitely higher quality. And it's fire, cold, and heat resistance. Eh, I guess, I guess this stuff's not that big of a deal unless we're going back into the volcano. Let's see, we can make leather, ghillie, composite armor, arctic armor, hunter's armor, scorpion armor, scorpion armor. Oh, that's cool. Cured leather, the animal stuff, oh, and rugs. Okay, that's cool. Actually, I don't think we're going to bother with any of that right now. There's not really any need for any of it. So for now, let's get you running, and we'll grab half of this gold. And let's get the gold crafting. Until we figure out what, what we need to do after that. Sweet. Every once in a while, you have to reload the the thing, the cave, and get to some fighting. Oh, which reminds me. Let's eat that. Yeah. 
Look at that beautifully refreshed cave. Now really I'm in here for copper and gold. Not to be confused with silver and gold. All right, and yep, we are picking it up. And we'll grab a little bit of this too. If we decide to make that obsidian armor, we're gonna need the platinum. Then you gotta watch that uh, the indicator on the bottom. Your your poison indicator. Let's see, yeah, I think I think we need a little more copper than we need gold. Oh, that was nice. Now I could I can, I still have the ability to put on some. Is there no gold in here? Oh, there we go. Put on some uh, modifications to this thing, but I'm not sure what to put on. You know, should I put on the the copper one, the gold one, the titanium one? I don't know. I don't want to make a whole bunch of miasmatic pickaxes and run around with a ton of picks. You know, that's that's annoying. It looks like it was just the one. The one gold. Just a bunch of copper today. What are we at? Let's see. Gold, copper, copper, platinum. So we only got... We don't even have two of the coppers yet. So I guess this is going to be a copper run. Hurt. The only problem with this miasmatic stuff is it damages you. So it's not... It's not something that's particularly good for using a long ways from the base, you know? Because even with this advanced food that I have, um, I, it's dropping right now. Let's see, okay. That didn't give me the final smash, but... Okay, it looks like we're out of the good stuff. Well, there's a little bit of copper over there. Yeah. But then I may, I may end up running into a different cave. There are other caves in this biome. That I haven't been to yet. This one's just a... It's a good one. There's a lot of materials in here. We got a lot of platinum on this one. A lot more than normal. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And I don't need any more iron right now. Okay, well... Nope, let's turn that off. We don't want to lose fuel. Looking pretty good. All right, let's run back and uh, get this stuff going in the cleaner. All right, now these should all be copper. Yep, and that should be all of, yeah, that stuff. All right, so these are going to get crafting. They're not going to make as much as I was hoping they'd make, but that's just because this noxious crap is rough on the health. <laughs> Real rough. Okay, um, what do we have in here? So we've got gold coming, so we'll drop the gold. We've got copper coming, so we'll drop the copper in. That doesn't belong in there, neither does that. So the platinum and the iron will just drop in there. Now we did pick up quite a bit of obsidian when we were and scoria, so we got a, a little little bit of that. And the obsidian we've got in here, 67 of it. So it's not a huge amount. But it should be enough to get us, to get us doing some good stuff. Why are you not? There we go. That was weird. Why did that turn off? Oh, cause I had to. Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. I had to uh, shut. I had to shut the computer or the server down. Okay, now we've got quite a bit of, of gold, and we've got a fair amount of copper coming, so we can. We have no no problems now making. Uh, Making the good stuff out of this. Alright, let's get all this out of here. That doesn't need to be in there. Grab all this gold. Excellent. Drop the gold in there. The platinum. Oh, why do I have scoria in here? Okay, let's grab that out. That all belongs to the rock. We don't have a ton of rock, so we'll just drop it all in there. And the copper. All right, let's give that a cheeky sort. All right, we've got a lot of iron in here. Um, I was thinking we need a little bit more steel as well. Notice we have, like, no steel in here. So let's grab some of this. 
Here we go. We don't have that much... Um, 300 ought to do it. We don't have that much... Uh, train of thought loss. Jesus. Actually, there is a lot of train of thought loss. Alright, we don't need... Alright, how much are you taking up? Uh, you're only using 1,500. I'm using both of those. Let me take a quick look at my spreadsheet here. It's always good to have a spreadsheet going. The electronic textiles bench, if that's still active, we'll shut that off. Are you still active? You are not. It is not. Demonstration's not. So really it's just the two furnaces and the residue cleaners that are active right now. Two furnaces, two residue cleaners, the ESAT, the lights, the creature deterrent, the water pump. Might be time for some more power. Honestly. Maybe that's what we focus on right now. Although I do want to make... Well, we can make steel in here. Hmm. Well, what? Why did it only make 23? Oh. Oh, because it used the last of that. Okay, that's fine. Well, we can make a little bit of steel in here. Here, let's take this stuff out. Oh, we needed the pace. Okay. And we've got another one over here. We'll just drop all this stuff in for now. And we'll do another bit of that. There we go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so the storm rolled in. Had to put things on pause here. How's this doing? Oh, looks like they're done. That's a good amount of gold and platinum. That's a crap. To, holy crap. Wait a minute. The gold and platinum must not have been a five to one. One. Oh, gold is one to one. Oh. Those are one to one. Iron is one to one. What? Well, copper definitely gave me five to one. Maybe I'm maybe I'm reading those wrong. But these are still going. Yeah, that's one to five. Where's the copper listed on here? Okay, that this doesn't I don't think this actually gives a good No, it doesn't. Okay, that doesn't actually give a good ratio. It says one to one, but I don't think it is. All right. Well, either way, that stuff's going. Now, one of you lovely individuals mentioned to me that you can put those guys. Oh yeah, let's go grab those resources. The wind wind turbines. You can put them on cement poles. And I did a little looking. And at least at whoops, as of when. That video that I watched was done. It is possible. So let's take a look. If we slap you on here. And we slap you on here. You've got to bring it over. Click it. And rotate it. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, wait, let's try again. Maybe I was too high up. No, it looks like they have gotten rid of this. It doesn't make sense why it would work. Let's put another one up. Go a little higher. Yeah, okay, so it looks like that was patched out. What? Why did that happen? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it went there. Maybe I wasn't high enough. Okay, so it's definitely blowing. So let's grab you. And let's try to do it like this. Got to maybe you got to go like right at the angle here.
Yeah, I don't think it works on, on a one steep. I think it has to be two. Or maybe it's just the side. Okay, there's that one. Now, we are going to try... Okay, we're going to try to put one on this side, too. But first thing we got to do is wire this baby up. To this circuit over here. There we go. All right, so that puppy's on that circuit because I don't want my freezers to my freezer to lose power. And I only made one of these because when I was making it, I ran out of circuit boards because I needed more copper wire. All right. Oh. Okay, it seems to work best when I'm farther away from it. But it's going. I mean, that's pretty sweet. So, oh, okay. Well, we really only need two for this. So, if I look at it, it okay, it shows that it's producing. Okay, and now that's that. Okay, so if I pull that guy, this is the secondary wire. Yeah, that links up to that there. So if we pop that, these two should still have power. Okay, sweet. So we're good to go there. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now we can pull that eyesore off. So let's pop this stuff down here, making sure not to hit the main line. Um, we'll have to follow it from down here. We'll get this off of here. That was an excellent, excellent suggestion. Um, thank you for, for suggesting it. Because that's going to make things look so much better. I mean, it's weird. But it, it's going to look better uh, because this nonsense isn't going to be here. Alright, let's clear that off. Okay, so I ran that one up this way. It's been a little while since I've done it. And hey, I'm all for making the base look a little bit nicer. Excellent. Okay. And I, I only see the one line, so I must have I must have pulled the rest of it. Excellent. All right. So now we got those two going over there to power that. And I'm thinking the one that I've got on me now, we can just add to the main power grid. That will kick us up to up over 2,500 and give us the ability to run another one of the big machines. Now the question is, where do I put it? From what I understand, three is the magic number. Three squares. Three, three of those. And maybe I should have done these a little uh, over here a little bit more. But we are going to need another post. Because for some reason, one post wasn't enough. Probably because it was too close to the ground. We'll make two just because we had that one collapse on us, which is just garbage. Okay. I think, oh, is that, no, it's spinning. So it's, it's a, apparently it's enough, enough off that we don't need to worry about it. So we can put another one right there. And then if we want more, we can continue this platform out and do a few more. Fan friggin tastic. I love that. All right. So now we just need to hook you up to power. Okay, so this one leading that way is just going to hook into that. So let's kill that. And looks like there's another one over here. Okay, you, you got a pretty good reach with these. All right, so we want to have... Jeez. We want to have that hook into the main power line. Which is kind of a hassle. I gotta figure out where. We got a bunch of deer down there. I gotta figure out how to do that. But so that'll give us the ability to use three of the big machines plus the two oxidizers, which isn't a huge deal because they're not actually running right now. These things are done, but that's alright. Alright, we are all set up in 
the power grid. So that thing is now providing power to the grid. Now with everything running, we should be able to hook this thing up and all should be good in the hood. Everything is not good in the hood. That means I something, either my calculations are off somehow or the power is not hooked up properly. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, power in this game is such a hassle. No, that brings me to 2600. It should allow me to run that thing. So, I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, I drug it across and I linked it. I linked it to right here. It's obviously... Oh, it, that's the fridge power line, isn't it? I bet that's the fridge power line. Son of a bitch. Or maybe I've got something plugged in and I don't... And I'm, mis, I'm miscalculating everything. I'm not 100% right now. But I will fool around with that on my own time. <laughs> and uh, we'll go... Let's do... Let's put all this stuff away. You know what I want to do? I think... I think it's getting pretty close to time for... Us to do a um, geyser mission. In this biome. I didn't see any geysers up here. That seems like that would just kill me instantly. But I'm thinking we need to do a geyser mission next episode in here. So that would that'll be cool. But I'll need to put together the supplies. I'll need to get the geyser thingamadoo. Here, let's eat that. Actually, I think I've got one. I'll probably just grab the geyser one from over here. I'm pretty sure I left it over here. And then we'll just take it in. That'll be pretty sweet. Did they do anything different here? No, it's just hidden caches down drones. Just the regular boring missions. All right, cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's... Let's do a little bit more in the base. Do a little do a little bit... A little something-something. We need a little bit more... Actually, you know what would be cool? Some actual light up here. That'd be neat. But let's go take a look at the stone masonry bench what is this oh yeah the geode lamp we got some pretty cool statues over here we could put up and we need to have like you know what i would want to do let's put a table we could put a table and chairs mm. this isn't a proper kitchen is it yeah we need a proper kitchen Ooh, let's grab some of this cement not that one. Let's make some rebar with it. That way we can make a little bit more on in the way of... Oh, look at all that beautifulness. Let's make 30. That way we'll have a little bit of copper and gold wire for other projects. Alright, give me that. Ooh, there's a bunch of rebar in there. Yeah, give me all of that. Rebar goes so quick. All right. Something I've been meaning to do is to put put a ramp out here. Do a little bit of light. Here, we, we can just jump out. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We might not do anything on this side. All right, let's go right there. There we go. Now when I come out here, I'm not going to fall <laughs> and not be able to get back in. This thing's not powered either. I need to get a lot more power in order to get that thing going. Boy, that thing is just going nuts down there. Now, I don't think we've got any room out here. Yeah, that, that leans out too much. So if I wanted to put like a viewing or dining area, I would have to do it up here. And ooh, you know what I could do? Oh, that's the slant in the roof. That's why that's like that. Okay. Is there... There's like a mannequin for armor sets, right? Isn't that a thing that I saw in here? Alright, I think the first thing we're gonna do is grab... Do we have enough stone? Oh. Uh, yes. Let's check this out. We're gonna grab this here, and... This takes 500 stone. Like, that... I wanna say that... The sandworm statue's not that big, because I think we made it in the last one. But it taking 500 stones seems like it should be pretty big. But we'll see. I was kind of curious about that one. 
All right, well, what do we need? Let's see. Um, We're going to need some iron. Let's sort that out. Yeah, look at all that. Oh, yeah. We're going to need some iron. Because we're going to need some... Well, we might have enough nails already. Oh, wait. Yeah, I stuck them in here even though I haven't used this, this yet. Okay, we got a fair bit of that. Let's grab some wood. And let's head upstairs to this bench, because these are the best walls in the game. What am I missing here? Let's see, we have one of each. Oh, I need more rope, don't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have some rope. Not in that one. In this one. Yeah, let's just grab that stuff. All right, that'll let us do that. Now, let's drop... Okay, so we got to surround the thing, so we're going to do six. Craft those, and then this is the one. Okay, that one requires the nails. This one doesn't. And then we're going to want nah, nothing, apparently. And then we can put all the rest of this junk away. I don't know why I'm putting it in here. Doesn't make any sense. There's no good reason for it. Textiles bench. Boink. Birds. Come on, Icarus people. Automated defense turrets. Give us some automated defense turrets. That'd be so cool. I just I'd put one like right on the edge here and it could just shoot down all the birds. I mean, they'll probably make us use bullets for it, so maybe that's not such a good idea, but it'd still be cool to see. To turn it on. It might be helpful with um, defending, you know, it'd be, it'd make it interesting for defense missions, although they're pretty easy already. So if we did do that, they would probably turn down the, uh, turn down to the defense level. So we got a couple things we can do in the future. We have this following mission. Uh, oh, we did the manhunt one. Oh, okay. We're down to the last one of these. The final story one, and then we're not doing the tree hut construction. I'm not putting myself through that. That stuff's all done. Celebrity Chef. I took a peek at that one. The Celebrity Chef one, you have to make an ob obnoxious amount of just things and stick them in a pod, so that's stupid. I'm not doing that. And the, the mission reward is just, it's dumb. I mean, it's just money, which I don't have any need for right now. <laughs> So yeah, we got this last one. But before we do Fractured Manhunt, we are going to definitely do a geyser mission over here next episode, ladies and gentlemen. I think that'll be cool. And then I'll check and see if there's a geyser up here. Because that would be insanity. No, I'm not seeing geysers up here. I'm looking on the Icarus Intel map. I see exotic. Oh, strange plant. 20% chance to spawn. Okay, never mind. But yeah, there's no geysers up there. There's red exotic deposit locations, but those don't matter for us right now. You know what, though? This swamp has a lot of max level caves in it. A lot more than... Well, no, not a lot more. There's just a bunch of them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a plan for next episode. I am going to put some more food in here because that's not enough food. We need we need to make a little bit more of these in order to keep us alive. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to grab all the stuff, and we will meet somewhere in here for a geyser mission. I'm not sure which geyser we're going to do. Probably this one, since it's fairly close to the entrance. It'll be pretty easy to, to get to. And then we will knock that puppy out. And then the episode after that, we're probably going to do the Fractured Manhunt mission. And give me some ideas. If What what do you guys think we should build onto this thing? We've got pretty much everything. Like, all of our utility rooms are there. Ooh, we could make this look nicer. Put some, put some chairs in here, some lighting. Maybe a couple more of those crystals. That might be cool. Or do we have other crystal types? I don't know. We'll have to take a look. But give me some ideas. What do you think we should do? I saw rugs. What? We could get a taxidermy, taxidermy bench out and get some rugs going. That'd be pretty sweet. There, There's a lot on here. And we could probably get some fish, fish traps down there so we could start getting whatever the fish are that come here. I don't know. Maybe not. 
But ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content. Leave a comment in the comments section and share the video with your buddies because YouTube says sharing is caring. And as always, everyone, I do hope you have a great rest of your day. Shut up and sit down.